we have already used some operators like equals to with the where clause in order to pass the condition now in this video we will see some different operators which we can use in the where clause in order to make the customized conditions for getting the data so let's start with the comparison operators where you can see there are six comparison operators like equals to not equals to greater than less than greater than equals to and less than equals to all these operators we compare a couple of values and will return a boolean true or false if the records are having a true condition for this condition they will be there in the output so let's see how to work with this comparison operators now in order to begin with the operators we'll have to add the where clause which we have already introduced in the select statement so for that let's take an example like I want to find an employee who's earning 50,000 so for that what I, I'll have to do is salary is one of the column which I have in my table so where salary is equal to and then you can put anything like 50,000 so as soon as you will execute that you will only get those employees who are earning 50,000 alright as equals to is the operator where you can pass one value and whichever is equivalent to that that record will be returned now if you don't want to find those employees who are earning 50,000 you can simply add this exclamation sign and will make it not equals to so this not equals to will be like you will get all the records except those two as you can see here there are 18 rows in the output two were earning 50,000 and they are not here in this output alright so this is just opposite to, to the equals to when you will say equals to it will get you the records which are who are earning 50,000 and now it is not equals to similarly for not equals to you can also put the greater than sorry less than and greater than symbol like this alright so this will also mean not equals to and you will not find any difference in the output similarly you can also pass the operators like greater than like if the salary is greater than 50,000 only those employees should be there so here in the output you can see 55, 54, 54, 60 all are the employees who are earning more than 50,000 similarly if I'll say greater than or equal to so it will also include those employees who are earning equals to 50,000 it will take care of both the ones like who are earning equal to 50,000 or greater than 50,000 similarly this less than operator will do the things accordingly all the employees will be here who are earning less than 50,000 and again if you will do less than or equal to 50,000 here is the result alright so this is how you can plan with these comparison operators so we just saw how we can use the comparison operators but in case we need to pass multiple conditions all together for a query we can use the logical operators so here we have the AND OR NOT operator out of which AND and OR operator are the binary operators means it will be used to merge the multiple conditions or two conditions at a time when we will work with the AND operator it will return a true only if both the conditions are having a true else it will only return a false similarly OR operator will only return a false when all the conditions or both the conditions are false if any one or both the conditions are true OR will return a true and NOT is basically converting the true to false and false to true so let's have a look in the AND or OR operator in this example now for using the logical operators we'll have to pass the number of conditions like here what I'll do is where salary is less than or equal to 50,000 which we have already checked but now if I want to see only those employees who are earning less than or equal to 50,000 in department 20 alright like here you can see in the output all the departments are there but I want to check both the conditions so what sh I should do is I will do it like AND operator AND it's very simple to write alright it's English type language AND department 
is equal to 20. So now there are two conditions and since it is an AND operator, both conditions must be true. So when I'll execute this, okay, let me uh, execute as a whole, yep. Now here you can see the salary is less than or equal to 50,000, but the department is surely 20, all right? So this is about the AND operator. For example, if I'll use some other department right here, like department 30, so all the employees of department 30 who are earning less than 50,000 will be here. And the very same scenario is with the any other greater than operator like here. This particular person Raj is earning more than 50,000 in department 30. All right. So you can plan the things like that. But in the same time, when I'll talk about the OR operator, it will give you the true when even only a single condition is true. For example, if I will add here, it will return you all those records who are either earning more than 50,000 or in department 30. For example, he, this particular guy is not earning more than 50,000, but since it is in department 30, it is giving you. Let's write a logical query. Here, I want to get the records of those employees whose names are, let's say, Mohit, Raj, and Ajay. All right. So what I'll have to do is first name is equal to Mohit or first name equals to Raj or first name is equal to Ajay. Right. So you see, there are OR operators and every time you will have to repeat the column name even though if it is the same. All right. So what I have done here, either in all the records, either the employee name would be Mohit or Raj or Ajay. There will not be any employee who has all the three names as their first name. So as soon as I execute it, you see there are three records right here. All right. So this is how you can plan the OR operator. And this is how you can add multiple conditions by using these logical operators like AND and OR. Now, we have some more special operators here, especially in SQL, that is in, between AND, like, AND is null. Basically, when we want to compare multiple values in equality, we can do that with in operator. As equal operator will only be able to comp uh, compare the single value at a time. But in case you want to get the multiple records altogether, for example, I want to get the employee ID 101, 103 and 105. So that I can do very easily by using this in operator. Similarly, if you need to compare the range, you can use the between and operator. That range may be in salary wise, in numerical range could be there or date time could be there. So we can use the between and operator in which we must pass the smaller value before and then the larger value means the upper limit. And make sure both the values which you will be passing will be included in the condition. Like operator is used to check the pattern. For example, if I want to get all the na employees of start name starting with A. So that particular kind of uh, queries I can do it with the like operator where we will be using some wildcard characters as well. Wildcard characters means the character having some specific name in that particular situation. For example, I will use percentage symbol as a wildcard character in order to compare the zero or multiple characters at a time. But if I just want to compare a single character, I will use the underscore character for that. So underscore and percentage are the wildcard characters here. And similarly, we have a is null operator to compare the null values. As null is not a defined value, you can't compare it with the operators like in or equals to. So for that specific condition, we will use the is null operator. So let's have a look in all these operators practically. Now in the those special operators, let's begin with the in operator. Like here, in the previous example of or operator, I just shared this one. So I can do the same thing in even a shorter way. As we discussed, in operator can compare a multiple values altogether. 
So what I can do is I can simply say where first name in and since these are the character values they must be there in the single quotes. So I will just replace all these things and will separate all the values with the comma like this all right and at the end I'll close this. So when I'll execute you will find there is no difference. So this is how you can use the in operator in order to compare multiple values all together and the output will be like this. Now let's take another example where we will discuss about the between and operator. So let's take a scenario I want to get all the employees who are earning between 40,000 and 50,000. Without between and I can do that as well like what I can do I can say where salary is greater than or equal to 40,000 and salary is less than or equal to 60,000. Alright so it will give me some records like this and you can see all the employees would be in that particular range. When I am talking about range both the starting value and the ending value would be included. Now if I want to make a shorter way of writing this query what I can do is where salary between 40,000 and 60,000 alright. So I can use this between and as a common operator and there is no difference in the output. Make sure when you are putting the values of a range you will have to pass the smaller value before and then the bigger value. So this is how you can work with this between and operator. Now let's take an example of like operator where what I can do is I can simply will search a pattern alright. For example I want to get all those employees names who are earning who are, whose names are starting with A alright. So what can I do as we already discussed that there would be some wild card characters. So let's take an example like where first name like and then in the single quotes it will start with A and then a percentage. So when I will execute this you will see there are all the names who are starting with A. Percentage means any number of characters that may be 0 or multiple. But if I will use underscore in that place like here after A I use 1, 2, 3. So only those names would be there whose after A there will be only three more characters like these. So these are all the names who are start beginning with A but after A there are three characters as there are three underscores and underscore means strictly one character neither more nor less. Let's take one more example like I want all those employees who whose email IDs are there in the Gmail domain. So what can I do is uh, where email ID like there should be something before the Gmail, there should be something after Gmail but in this there must be a Gmail in between alright like these emails ID. So you will get all the 14 records here who are having the Gmail domain ID. Similarly if I will add tutorialspoint.com or I should only say tutorialspoint I will get all those 6 employees having tutorialspoint domain alright. So these are the sample uh, so these are some of the examples of using the like operators and now finally to compare a null value we have a is null operator like where last name is null all right so as soon as i do that only one employee is there whose last name is null so that particular record would be here. To make the condition just opposite to that I can just add the not operator alright. So all the 19 records apart from that particular record of ID 102 is not here else all the depart all the employees having the last name so they are not null. Similarly you can also give a reverse to the between and to not between and like to not like in to not in just add the not keyword right before them all right and they will just reverse the behavior. So this is how you can start working with the operators in the SQL.